We've got a psalm today, dear friends. We've got a psalm, uh, and it's a longer one. So if you have Christ in our home there and want to spend a little time dwelling in God's Word together, Psalm 102, we're going to start in verse 12. So I'll invite you to find your way there and get started. Um, I hope that you are well on this Tuesday, February 9th, uh, as we continue to share this journey through life and faith, specifically through this time of pandemic, connecting from our homes here uh, online. Read with me in devotion if you'd like, or simply listen and let God's word pour over you today. Psalm 102, starting in verse 12, I'll invite you to join me. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come, for your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all your the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, so that the name of the Lord, so that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When peoples gather together, and kingdoms to worship the Lord. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, do not take me away at the midpoint of my life, you whose years endure through all generations. Long ago you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you endure. They will all wear out like a garment. You change them like clothing, and they pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall live secure. Their offspring shall be established in your presence. Word of God, word of life for this morning and for our continued journey. Smiley face heart, Lois. It's good to be together with you. Good morning, Sherry. I'm glad that you are joining others here and myself and sharing a bit of devotion this Tuesday morning. Today, Christ in Our Home uh, offers a devotion under the title, The Kids Are All Right, inviting our focus to that first verse that we read together. You, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. A devotion. One of the most popular topics at pastor conferences is ministry to millennials, born roughly between 1981 and 1986, 1996 and Generation Z, born in 1997 to 2012. Many lament or fear that younger people seem less involved in church than older generations. As a millennial myself, I wish I had a simple answer and an easy solution to change this trend. Amid this uncertainty, it may be helpful to remember Psalm 102, Thousands of years ago, the psalmist wrote that God's name will endure to all generations. Think about how many generations have passed since then. God's name has already endured through countless wars, famines, pandemics, and natural disasters. Our continued reading of Psalm 102 stands as proof of God's enduring name. I cannot conceive of anything more challenging to God than what has already been endured. God's name will continue, even to the younger generations today. God is enthroned forever. Nothing will change that. This is when I, I, I go and see who wrote this. Aaron Fuller. No, Kevin Kretzman Farrer, serving in Wisconsin. Hey, how about that? All right. Very good. Sometimes I know them. 
Uh, not, not this one, that's okay. I uh, hope that you guys are well today, my friends, as uh, God's name and God's presence endures even through this challenging time, which is real because it is the moment in which we live and move and have our being. And so we, 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 we feel that. Um, uh, and, and yet we still hold on to in hope and faith uh, of God's enduring presence through all time. Yes, uh, Carol and Pastor Heike, I understand it is it is cold, uh, warm up there. I told my dad yesterday, I texted my parents before my run, I said, hey, it's 67 degrees here. And dad goes, you have about 63 degrees on us. <laughs> and I looked at the weather map, it's true, it pushes down, so we got a lot of warm weather. But um, Miss Ann told me that on Monday it might be in the 20s here, so, you know, that pendulum of this time of year just swings. So good morning, uh, Miss Sachs, it's good to be together here. Uh, hope that you are all well. Uh, I invite you to pray with me. God of all, may your name be a blessing and a reassurance to people in this time and in all generations. Amen. Be invited to pray as this day unfolds before you for ELCA youth gathering planners. We know that ELCA moved their youth gathering uh, at least one summer. Uh, still we'll hear word on if we're going to be able to do it in 2022 as uh, hoped for and planned. Uh, but we'll see as this time unfolds together. Um, Thanks for uh, joining me here today, and we'll do it again tomorrow at 9 as we continue to dwell in God's Word as we endure in faith together, uh, giving thanks to God for God's enduring goodness. God bless you, my friends.